Many companies claim to change the world. Intel has for 54 years. Its engineers in 1971 invented the microprocessor, arguably the world's most important invention of the last half century. Come with me behind this door and I'll show you the first processor and more Intel artifacts that connect our past with our future. We're just outside Atlanta, Georgia at Heritage Works, a company that manages the archives for Fortune 500 companies, fashion brands, and sports leagues such as the NBA, NFL, and NHL. Intel has more than 125,000 important images, documents, and physical items here. Like this, a Bizicom desktop calculator. This is not your ordinary pocket calculator. In 1969, its owner in Japan asked Intel to design custom chips to run it. Intel engineers designed four, including a general purpose one, an engineering feat that dramatically altered the course of electronics. Here, a Heritage Works archivist unrolls an original schematic overlay design engineers used to launch Intel's first CPU, or central processing unit, in 1971. And this is it, the Intel 4004. It contained 2,300 transistors, the microscopic switches that make microprocessors work. Today's feature not thousands of transistors, but billions. The 4004 is produced on this, a two-inch silicon wafer. Over the years, for increased efficiency, Intel moved to bigger and bigger wafers. The two-inch wafers contained about 36 Intel 4004s. Today's 12-inch wafers hold hundreds, sometimes thousands, of fingernail-sized microprocessors. This is Intel's second microprocessor, the 8008, which celebrates its 50th anniversary this year. In 1980, Intel also made microcontrollers to help power anti-lock brakes, airplanes, musical instruments, and toys. Like this one, Wrinkles the Talking Dog. I like you. This shovel commemorates the 1978 groundbreaking of Intel's first microprocessor factory, or FAB. This is it, FAB 1A. Seen here as part of Heritage Works' scanning process of historic images. The FAB was in Santa Clara, California, close to Intel's headquarters in the Silicon Valley. Coined in 1971 because of Intel's influence with computer chips made from silicon. This is about a 30 pound silicon ingot. This is what wafers are made out of. This is an Intel original Microma watch. This is the bunny suit from Intel's 1997 Super Bowl commercial. This is the original Intel 386 design team. Do you recognize that guy? CEO Pat Gelsinger. And this is his favorite t-shirt emblazoned with the high energy pace he set for the company. It's the newest artifact for the archives. While these jewels from Intel's past are locked safely away, you can see some of these artifacts and learn more about the company's storied history on the new Intel Virtual Museum. The museum and the archive are a history buff's dream, with thousands of treasures and mementos that show Intel's path to becoming the leading technology company it is today. Hope you enjoyed going behind this door with us. Thanks for watching. I'm Rob Kelton and Wrinkles. Hey, hey.